Hey, what is up everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a Sonic Prime action figure. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't actually watched Sonic Prime. Uh, the show kind of just came and went for me. Uh, in fact, it only lasted about a year in total. It started airing at the end of the tail end of 2022 and only finished uh, in January of 2024. So, yeah, almost exactly a full year. A little more over a little bit more than a year exactly and that's it um with that said i've heard it's actually a really good show it's just um it has some weak you know it just has some uh areas of weaknesses from what i've heard in the storytelling especially the conclusion and uh i think for me personally the thing that turned me off from watching it was the animation um, it, which did look a bit off at first, but then uh, I, I, I saw some clips from later in the series and it actually looked pretty good. So who knows, maybe I will finally just sit down and watch it. Um, it is only 23 episodes in length, which was also kind of the reason I got a bit turned off because, you know, 23 episode series mm, could be a lot longer if you uh, want to include a lot of uh, characters and some characters, unfortunately, didn't make the cut into the show, as far as I can tell. Uh, which is a bit unfortunate, but oh well. Well, now, getting on to the toy. Um, yeah, I, I saw quite a number of these recently. Um, within the last, I guess, several months. At a place called Dollarama, which is a very popular uh, Canadian dollar store chain. And uh, interestingly enough, Sonic Prime is also a Canadian production, so um, yeah, I guess it's not too surprising that uh, it's um, that there's plenty of these toys. It's just that I wasn't expecting them to be in a dollar store, although the toys themselves are not actually a dollar. This one in particular was four dollars and fifty cents, and um, this is the cheapest one they had. The other one ca came in a capsule. Um, uh, I th and uh, was yeah the one that comes in the capsule was five bucks, and um, I'm not sure quite sure, but I'm fairly certain it might be bigger. I don't know, uh, but this is the ult ultimately the only one I got. I wanted to get the other one as the capsule as well, but I opted to just pick one because I don't want to. I don't want to have to potentially get uh, two duplicates. As um, as the figures you see here are the exact, as far as I can tell, are the exact same ones in the capsules. Um, maybe bigger or smaller, I'm not sure. But yeah, there's eight to collect. We got Sonic, we got nine, we got, I think, nine tails. We got uh, a variant of Knuckles, Amy, a couple of variants of Eggman. Oh yeah, and uh, the two, I think the bottom two are also rare variants of... Uh, I haven't, again, haven't watched the show, so I don't know uh, if I got the names correct. But yeah, um, uh, it's made by a company called JRC Toys. Uh, of course, you have Wild Brain, I believe the Animation Studio, and of course, Sega. Funny enough, this game does not have, sorry, this show um, doesn't have a, a, a video game adaptation of of some sort like I don't even remember if we even have like any DLC for any of the mainline games or any of the other like mobile games either because usually when it comes to like uh, Sonic major Sonic projects they always do some sort of collaboration and I can't think of any off the top of my head maybe it's the Sonic uh, Sonic Forces uh, game or so maybe uh, Sonic Rumble I honestly don't know if they did any collabor uh, any like collaborative work for any of the video games, but it's actually surprising they didn't. I mean, but then again, then again, considering how Sonic Boom the Sonic Boom video games turned out, it was probably it was, might have been for the best. All right, so we oh okay we got Rouge the Bat, uh, some variant of Rouge the Bat. Okay, that's neat. And oh look, her wings actually, uh, oh yeah, her wings uh, actually, I think her wings actually pop out? No? Oh. oh, okay, okay, yeah, she can, she can, 
She bends. Okay, that's neat. Yeah, the capsule toys actually bend a good chunk of the weight so that they can fit in the capsule. And, um, yeah, I guess that's also the case here. Sort of, even though it doesn't have to. But, yeah, we got uh, a variant of Rooster Bat here. This is nice. Oopsies. So I got one down. I got one character here. Uh, seven to go. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I can get all seven of them at some point. I don't want to. I don't. I really don't want to have to get too many duplicates. That's how they. That's how they get you. They get you to buy. They get you to buy one, and then they. And the whole idea is that you buy more, hoping to get all of them. But of course, you know you don't. You don't know which one is. You don't know what you're. What you're gonna get. So. Uh, chances are you're going to get a lot of duplicates. Oh, hang on. There's something else in here. Oh, right. It's the, uh, it's a s small little poster here. Okay, we got Sonic. Yeah, it's one big advertisement. Okay, we got, yeah, there we go. New York City, Boss Cage Maze. Yeah, it'd be nice if they actually label these characters, you know. But, yeah, that pretty much uh, does it for this video. Now, before I actually end the video, I'm actually going to be doing a quick little giveaway here uh, in the form of a GOG game code. Now, the game in question is... Bioshock Remastered. So whoever gets this code first, well, congratulations. You just got yourself a free game on GOG. Um, but yeah, um, as for everyone else, um, if you like what you saw today, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.